Hello everyone. In this episode, I have a very special tip for you inside Dash Studio, and that is how to use an IRA section node. What might that be? Well, I discovered it by sheer coincidence, really, and it's one of those super exciting things. Let me show you how it works and what it does. So this is uh, my default cube inside Dash Studio. I've just given him a little blue facelift, just like in the last video. And in it, we have under the Create menu, we can see that there is something called an IRA section plane node. And if I go and create myself one, it appears that there is, well, this little dialogue here, I'm just going to accept the default, and it appears as if nothing happens. There is another object in my scene hierarchy here called the IRA section plane node, and I can move it, but it looks like not much is happening. Well, that's kind of mysterious, but let me just move this thing just above my cube so that, you know, you can see it's a different node. It doesn't really have a body. It just about has just that little manipulator gadget, but that's really all it has. It doesn't really have a mass or an outline. It's because it's an infinite plane and we only really have a placeholder thing in the middle. It doesn't matter how big I make it, how small I make it, it'll be infinite and it'll literally point up at its y-axis in Dash Studio, the green axis. So once again, it's an iRay feature, so it doesn't really do anything because I'm currently in the OpenGL preview. It doesn't work in OpenGL, nor does it work in 3D Lite. So the effects will only be visible if I switch my viewport over to NVIDIA iRay. Let me go and do that. Well, it looks like still nothing's happened, but that's because I was clever enough to move the IRA section plane above my cube. So it's literally where my manipulator gadget is. Anything that's below it will be left alone and everything that's above it will be cut off. Let me demonstrate this. So as I go with IRA, with my IRA section plane node selected and in the IRA viewport, if I go and drag this thing down, I can see that my poor cube's been cut in half. What's going on? That is what that node does. So it literally, I can move it up and down and literally cut my object in half. By default, it'll be underneath all the objects because it's in the middle of the scene hierarchy, in the middle of the world. And that means nothing will be visible as soon as you enable the IRA viewport. But if you move it above your objects, this is what can be done. And all kinds of other cool things can be done. So I can rotate this thing as well and then go and make this cube disappear in other ways and shapes. I can even make the cube talk. Hey, Jay, how's it going? I'm the cube. This is awesome, man. Yeah, I can already see a new series there. The blue talking cube. How exciting. What is also exciting is that it's its own node, of course, and that means I can go and animate it with the regular keyframe timelines. And it'll show you literally everything and anything and everything that is inside a like a highly complex geometric structure. There's one, the only one option really, if you select this and head over to the parameters tab, there is only one option that is uh, aside from the regular um, transform and rotation things. There's one thing that's called section plane, and that is one thing that says clip lights. And if I enable that, if I switch that on, then nothing on the inside of my objects is rendered and only the outside is rendered. This is kind of important to uh, remember what happens if I go and drag this thing further down. It will still leave kind of almost like a like a spontaneous cube combustion thing on the ground when that's enabled. Whereas when that's disabled, that isn't going to happen. So when that's disabled, only the parts of the cube are being rendered and uh, the shadow of that will be cast as it as it would be if you just literally take a knife and slice something off. Now, a cube is kind of a very um, simple object, and the cool thing is this is not parented to the cube by default, by the way. If I go and delete that, my cube's back in action. This works um, also with more complicated objects, so perhaps I'm going to go and grab myself a character here, like Jolina and her space suit, and I'll go and switch that over to iRay again, and now I'll go and grab another one of those section nodes because I deleted the previous one. I could have kept it, but it's one of those things. So create new IRA section play node, keep the defaults. And whoa, what's happening here? Character is almost disappearing. Well, that's because it's now at the very bottom 
of the character. So as I drag up, watch what happens. Character kind of magically appears and disappears. So this is super awesome for animations in which you want to literally make a character appear like that. And you can literally see inside the character as well. That is just super awesome for medical illustrations. Let me show you this on the, on the head section. That is just very, very cool slash creepy at the same time. So if we go and rotate that section plane node, Actually, let's rotate it this way and then go and zoom in on Jolina's head. We can literally look inside the head. Oh yeah, you can also, if this is now not on the right place, you can just pull this down and pull the manipulator to where you needed it to be so that you can go and have a, can have a mess around there. As I said, this is an infinite plane, so it doesn't really matter where you drag it. But look at that. Opticians who want to look on the inside of the eye, brain surgeons who want to look on the inside of a brain. That is just so cool. I might just go for fun. I might just go and animate this and and uh, post that on my channel. I, I was super impressed when I found this out and the opportunities and possibilities of what you can do with this are endless. I mean, even for clothing creators, you can literally have a look of where your clothing is compared to the character. If you ever needed to see that in a cross section, <laughs> you can do that. Super exciting. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Yes, the iRay section plane note. That is what this is all about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, then of course, please share it with friends, family, and total strangers. And other than that, have a wonderful time. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.